Harrington and Hargett. And uh, tell us a little bit about some of your properties here. Mr. Right um, this is the old uh, Riley Levine furniture store. Okay. The, the building used to be a hotel, hmm. and it was built in 1870, and then it turned into a, a market, a grocery store. And then in the 30s, the uh, the Hiley family bought it and turned it into a Hiley Myers, and then uh, got back to a Hiley Levine. You guys already have tenants? Uh, we, we do. We've got uh, NC State is in the two-story part, as well as Riviera Restaurant. And then we've got Cherokee Investment Partners uh, on the top two floors of the corner building, the building behind it. We've got a, a restaurant coming in from the downstairs of the corner, and there's a, a neat little courtyard in the back of all that. Okay. And uh, Riviera has outdoor seating as well? They have outdoor seating. Right. Sure. It's a running, running theme here. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things you were saying is that you like to have the, the property kind of uh, interact with the you know people on the sidewalk and that sort of thing, so you have lots of glass and, and people on the sidewalk. Yeah, so you know we think the storefront is real important because you need to be able to have that connection from the business inside to the people outside and, and draw people in and have that activity inside still out. Yeah, we right. you know, it's part of creating an active downtown. Much more a part of the community. It is. Great. And uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on down here. Well, we've got uh, two more buildings that we're renovating. Uh, one is the old Otto building and the other is the Raleigh Furniture building. And we're going to have some offices upstairs and uh, a bar and a restaurant uh, downstairs in those two buildings. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, Mr. Adam, we're here uh, just down the street here on Hargett. Tell us uh, what's going to go in behind us here. Uh, this is the old Oddfellows building, and this is Cherokee's office up top. Okay. Uh, we're talking to a retail shop in the first floor here. Uh, we've got the barber shop, Capital Barber, coming back in uh, to a location they've been since 1927. Okay. We're excited about restoring that, restoring that back to the old barber shop. And uh, then we've got a bar coming in on the, uh, the right hand side, and we have offices up top. And in the very top, Place. It used to be the old Oddfellas Lodge, okay. and a lot of the old uh, kind of uh, ritual things, spears and coffins and hmm. uh, robes and so forth, a lot of those were still in there when we bought the building and preserved those. We even, uh, we even found a human skull in the top. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Not that sure. was our most interesting find, I guess. Not sure we want to go to that ritual, but yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys are going to have the... Uh, you said the barbershop had been there in that location since early 1927. Yeah. 1927. Wow. Okay. And uh, uh, what do we have down here? With the yeah, this is the old Raleigh Furniture Building. And we're renovating that now. We're going to have offices on the second floor and looking for a, uh, a restaurant to the first floor. And even the basement is going to be an, an open basement. With, uh, it's probably part of the bar okay. the restaurant. And how old is that building? Maybe? That's 1940. Wow. Okay. It's pretty old. Yeah. And you guys are going to be from the 1890s. You guys will be finished with these projects uh, uh, this year? the end of the summer. Okay. Early fall. Great. That's great. So, all this on Hargett Street. Hargett. Hargett. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Um, this is the morning times. It's the auxiliary to the Raleigh times. We uh, wanted to try to make a 24/7 uh, atmosphere on Hargett Street, so we opened this at 6:30 in the morning. And uh, next door, the bar closes at 2.30, so we're getting close. You guys have coffee here? and uh, We have coffee and pastries, and it opens at 6.30 in the morning, and it uh, opens at 7.30 on the weekend. Okay, great. such a tough project it drove everybody to drink so we decided to turn it into a bar. And you guys uh, saved a lot of the original walls and that sort of thing? Yeah we did. Once we did the demo uh, the, the character of the place was just wonderful so we just left it the way it was. Okay. So you guys have old newspapers and that sort of thing on the inside? We have some old newspapers from the, the teens okay. and we have a lot of artifacts that we pulled out of the, the building. Can you show us over here? Sure. Okay. Over here is uh, outdoor seating. We've got outdoor seating, we've got the, uh, the non-smoking section, and some newspapers in there. And this started as an old stationery shop in 1906, and right here in the middle is where the Times building used to be, so we put Times on the, the tiles just to show people that. And actually live upstairs. Oh, okay. okay. great. <laughs> easy easy was, commute, right? Yeah. And over here was the shoe store back in 1906. Then the newspaper expanded into the downstairs, too. 
take a look inside real quick. Okay. That's one of our great finds. Uh, picture of the newspaper boys from 1914. It's how uh, to reconstruct the, uh, the storefront. So we wanted to blow that up in here and kind of define the character right up front. We've got a lot of old memorabilia. That uh, we asked the the folks uh, that used to work at the Raleigh Times to bring. We did a reunion party for them, and all we asked is that they bring a piece of old memorabilia, and we put that up uh, to define the character. And we got the, the bar, and the Times, which is in its old logo, and uh, in the back here we've got some old photographs significant to Raleigh. And we some things that we pulled out of the building when we rented. You guys had uh, 50 people show up for the reunion there? We had about 70 people show oh, up for the reunion. So we've got old photos of the town's building part of the street from when it was built. Uh, we've got photographs of significant areas in Raleigh's history. Right. And, uh, we have a younger form of Greg Hayden, who was in the Raleigh time back in the 80s. Great photo. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Two dude, all those years later. And then this is a bunch of stuff we pulled out of the building. Hmm. We got some old uh, pharmaceutical supplies and pill boxes and fixtures and newspapers and even a little condom. <laughs> so we know they had fun here. And, uh, Small newspaper. Yeah. And uh, you don't show us other newspapers over there? You all had some yeah. pretty cool ones, didn't you? How did you guys build the bar yourself? Oh, we did. We had that. Uh, we just dined everything in here and put all the kind of modern things somewhere else. So we uh, tried to pull some significant papers that we had. and. Uh, it seems yeah. really old, huh? Yeah, from the, the teens. And this one's about prohibition. Hmm. So we thought that would be appropriate. <laughs> and then we dealt with John Clark, who actually bought the newspaper in 1910 and expanded it. And, uh, hmm. His family came in here for the opening night. Huh. And uh, this is the last uh, edition of the Raleigh Times. And that was a gift from A.C. Snow, who was the editor at the Times at the, at the time of the end. It's pretty well known name. Yeah. And then this is Josephus Daniels, who looks remarkably like Frank Daniels' grandson. All right. He was secretary of the Navy and he uh, was a news conservator. And uh, this is one of my favorites because it talks about uh, the capital city and all its growth. And many of the buildings in here that are new, mm -hmm. uh, talking about the growth of the new capital city is uh, these are all buildings that we're renovating now. Hmm. So this is our office building. And this is the Times building here. You can kind of see where they got their start. Yeah. yeah. So it goes around the country. Yeah. So this was a fascinating find. This is actually our logo. Uh, Which one? This. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. this photograph is, is our, our banner head for our letterhead. Huh. Very cool. You guys were one of the first restaurants to have down, uh, outside seating downtown once again, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, we started that actually at the Duck and Dump okay. a few years ago. And, uh, we worked with the city on that. And then uh, we were the first on Target Street to start doing that. It's been real successful. Oh, yeah. It's especially, been a, especially during the summertime. Yeah, yeah. And at night. Yeah. A lot of people will do it.